Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you are an internet user, then you are always worried about cyber attack and you prefer to keep your identity safe, anonymous and private online. But you have to pay a heavy price for it. I have a free solution for you and that is SquareX. In this video, I will show you how you can use SquareX as your browser extension and the different solutions that will help you to keep your identity safe and prevent you from opening malicious files and cyber attacks. So if this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right, guys, SquareX is an integrated solution to secure user workflows. It keeps you secure, anonymous, and keep your identity and data private online. SquareX isolation technology creates remote disposable browsers and file viewers in the cloud environment, allowing you to view and open any link or document without fear of getting infected by malware or a spyware. Let's see how we can add the SquareX extension into our browser. So there are two ways to use SquareX. You can have it as a browser extension or you can also use their web app. So I'm going to click on the add SquareX to Chrome so this is going to add an extension to my browser. So what we need to do is you just need to create an account. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. So once we sign in, you will see that we have a small icon which is added as a Chrome extension. And when I click on it, you will see that we have different features that are offered by SquareX, which is a disposable browser, disposable file viewer, disposable email and a smart integration. We're going to see each one of them, what is their use case and how it can help us to browse the internet fearlessly. So let's start with the disposable browser and now let's assume that we want to access some website that are blocked or you want a real incognito mode where your activities cannot be traced. Then you can use this SquareX disposable browser and you can just select any of the region which you want. So I'm going to select maybe Australia and then I'm going to click on start and this is going to start a session in a cloud. So you will see that this is an isolation environment which is created by SquareX and we will see that there is a browser here. So now you will see we have this browser, we are accessing it from the Australia and you can just add it any information here and you can just use it as a normal browser. So this is not traceable, your activities won't be traced and this is actually the real incognito mode and not exactly what we have it in the Chrome browser or the Chrome incognito mode where the data can still be traced. So if I see my IP address, so I will see what is my IP address and we will see that we have an IP address here. So I'm going to click on it and this is what my IP address is. You will see this is my IP address and the country is Australia. But if I want to see my real IP address, then we can go to a normal browser and then we can just hit enter. Then you will see that this is my actual IP address. So this way it's keep you safe, secure and hides your identity and you can use it as a normal browser. You can also share this. So if I click here, you will see that we have a small pop up here and here you can actually share this session. So you can just copy and you can share the session with any of your friends or colleagues. Then it also has a inbuilt ad blocker. So there will be no ads when you actually browse any of the websites or any of the data and each of the browser have its own session time. So this browser will get automatically disposed and no data will be tracked or traced or any history will be kept after 10 minutes and you can start multiple sessions. So if I go back here and if I want to start an another session with Germany, then I can just click on start and you will see that we are going to have another disposable browser which will be accessible via Germany. And you can also see all the browser sessions here. So you can kill any of the browser. So I'm going to kill Australia. Now you will see that the Australia session is disposed and you can also dispose the Germany. So if I click on it, then it will also dispose the Germany. So this is the disposable browser. Next feature is the disposable file viewer. So this is very useful whenever you want to open any of the document which you have received in your email, but you are not sure that whether the document contains a malware or not. So in such scenarios, you can use the disposable file viewer and you can view the document safely without worrying about any malicious link that can impact your host machine. So let's see if I go here and we see that I have a 
email which is an unknown attachment so i'm going to open it and if i want to open this into a disposable file viewer then i'm going to do a right click and then i have the option of open in square x and i'm going to select any of the region maybe i will select the region as germany and this is going to open the disposable file viewer uh, now you will see that my document is open in the square x disposable file viewer and it is in the isolated cloud environment so i can open it and i can read the document here and you will see that we have this public dot squarex.com which is not actually our host machine so this way you can actually use the disposable file viewers whenever you want to open any of the document which you are not sure whether it contained a malicious attachment or not now we can just dispose this file viewer so you can go here and you can click on dispose and this is going to dispose our session the file viewer has been disposed and we can also start a new session now the third feature which i want to show you is the disposable email and this is one of my favorite feature the reason behind is that i usually browse a lot of internet and a lot of websites require me to sign in via my email account and i have to put my gmail accounts everywhere and after that i receive a lot of spams and promotions so if i go here and if you see then we see that we have a lot of promotion emails here in such scenarios what i can do is i can actually use the squarex disposable email and when you create your account with the squarex it gives you a random email address so you can also change this email address so what i can do is i can do an edit and i can just change this to test internet at the rate you can select any of their domain so i will keep it as it is and then you can just change it and when you change it it will give you the email address which is you have just added like test internet now you can actually use this email address and you can create accounts in different websites and it is not going to spam your actual email address which is this one so what i can do is i can copy and i can just go to any website so maybe i will go to quora and here what i can do is i want to register myself so i will click on register with an email account i'm going to give the name as maybe test i'm going to give the email address and i'm going to click on next enter the email code we have sent it to this email address so what i can do is i can go here and then i can access my inbox so i will go here and let's have the inbox here and in this inbox i received an email so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to add it and then i'm going to click on next and i can give the password and create my account and you will have all your emails which are temporary anonymous and secure so we have this mailbox and we will have all this mails here and this will help us to keep our actual mail accounts safe and also free from the spams so you can also do one thing i mean if you do a regenerate then it is going to dispose all your inbox and all your emails will be lost and you cannot restore it that's why you should be a bit careful to regenerate and the last feature is the smart integration so you can just click here and then you will see that it is having a gmail preview in an enhanced privacy mode so what we can do is we can go here and let's see i have this email and i want to view this email in a privacy mode so i can right click and you will see that preview in enhanced privacy mode so when you click on it this is going to open the email and you will see that here it is something like a file is being opened and this has no internet all the images will be blocked and this is completely a private view and even the sender will not know that we are reading this email so you will see that this enhanced privacy mode has few features and that's why this small extension of a square x into the chrome browser it's so helpful when you want to do some activities as keeping your identity safe and secure and untraceable then in such case it is very useful and the best part is that the square x extension is absolutely free you don't need to pay anything you just need to go to the chrome store you have it in your browser and you just use it so it's completely free i highly recommend to use it if you are internet user then squarex is one of the extension you must have in your chrome browser you can check out the link in my description of the video and you can just click on it and install it into your browser so that's all i have in this video i hope you like the video a thumbs up is appreciated you can also connect with me via facebook or instagram you can follow me on twitter for latest updates and before you go don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one thank you thanks for watching